amounts of water in these beakers. These, these are just regular Erlenmeyer flask, sorry, rather. Um, and I'm going to just simply put um, water in them. And so you can see how much water is in there exactly. And I'm going to show you the difference. This is actually a warm Erlenmeyer flask. I warmed it up in my boiling pot of water that you guys have seen me use. And I'm going to use this for red for warm. And I just want to show you how the particles, how di and this was cold water, this was in my freezer. I want to show you how different the particles are moving between these two, okay? All right, I'm just, it's kind of basically a reminder of thermal energy and how it transfers, what uh, particles move faster in colder objects or in warmer objects, okay? so. You can clearly see the differences in the separation of the red as in terms of the conden condensation of the blue food coloring. All right, there's red, and this one is empty, okay? This one has a little bit, oh, this is empty too. I must have drank that all, all right? And you guys can do this too. Um, you can do this at home if you have any uh, glass bottles, maybe some, you know, Jones soda or some, um, you know, whatever kind of glass bottles you can find. Make sure they're clean. Make sure you have permission. Um, but this is a easy kind of at-home activity you guys can do that, you know, it will be pretty fun and gives you something to do in these long days. Okay? Just mix it up so you know how much water is in these. Um, what you are going to do, you need to make sure these are observations. This is a bigger Erlenmeyer flask than this one. That's why they're right there. Okay. What you're going to do is you need to just make these observations and add this to the first data table. All right. The first data table. So where do I tap these bottles? How full are these bottles? Uh, do the raised bottles produce a different noise? Um, so on and so forth, okay? So you're trying to figure out, what you're trying to figure out is the three questions on the left, all right? How do sounds produce by hitting the bottle with a pencil differ from those produced by blowing across the top? That one was pretty full. Okay, uh, the Billy G Bottle Jean video has the guys and they're probably much better than me. The second question is, how can you make a higher pitch sound? How can you make a lower pitch sound? Okay, depending on, uh, what is that depending on? All right, and the third question is, how do you make the sound louder and quieter? Okay, right here we have about 600 milliliters of water. We have 500 milliliters, 400. 300, 200, 100, and zero. All right. Um, so I will be right back while I get ready for the show. Be ready. And this is pretty, pretty intense stuff, okay? This is going to be like um, some ZZ Top or some ACDC type music, all right? So get ready. You know how I like my, uh, my uh, music lit, right? All right. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, folks. We got the rocker right here. Let's get it going, all right? Here's my first song. It's uh, brought to you by the, uh, the Bluegrass Lake Band that uh, I travel with all across the Jackson County, all right? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.
There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. That is good. Uh, let's see if I got another one. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Let's go. There it is. Thank you guys. All right. So, I realize it might have been hard for you guys to see this, so I'm going to uh, turn it on. All right. We have a bunch of different amounts of water. And then we have no water. All right, so each of these have a different amount of water in them and they produce a different pitch of a noise, okay? So why are they producing the different pitch of the noise, all right? So if I hit them all on the neck of the Erlenmeyer flask, okay? What's going on? What's, how are these sound waves traveling, okay? Obviously, this is a lower pitch and it has the most water in it, okay? All right, and this is a pretty high pitch and it has no water in it. And I'd say it's higher than um, the one with a little water, excuse me, with uh, only 100 milliliters of water in it, okay? So what's going on here, right? So let's try to answer those questions that we need to do. How do sounds produced by hitting the bottle with a pencil differ from those produced by blowing? that one all right I thought it was interesting that when I'm blowing it in a fuller one it is a higher pitch than when I blow in one that is completely empty but when I hit it all right it is a lower pitch all right when I hit a completely empty one high pitch when I am blowing it low deep pitch higher lower Lower pitch, higher pitch, all right? I can hear it. Um, I know I got my headband on, but it might be different for difficult for you guys to hear it on the audio web, but um, oh well, just go with what I have to say, all right? So thank you guys for watching my show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys are all rock stars. Uh, leave a flip grab, a flip grid message for me and answer those four questions if you want um, but you don't have to I'd like to see you guys hope you're all doing well hope you're all staying safe hope you're all staying active all right see you guys be cool